a predominantly black high school in Florida is trying to get the name change from Robert E. Lee to anything, and uh, boomers are not having it. Mainly shows the comments from Lee High School 1966 alumnus Frank Attaway, who said, If this high school is having problems, how long has it been predominantly African American? Nope, there's more. <laughs> it says in the Bible, Jesus himself never condemned slavery. In fact, he said, slaves have an obligation to, obli uh, to um, obey their master. One more. I was taught that the chiefs of the tribes in Africa sold their people into slavery. If it had not been that way, there would not have been any slaves anywhere in America. Robert E. Lee or anybody else to have owned. So don't blame Robert E. Lee. Maybe you should be after your ancestors. Shalom. Shalom. Koholayam La. Albanawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawashai Bahashimra Kakradash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalawam to the Akwav sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Yah Eyes from Yahawada. Amoth Yah Eyes from Yahawada of the Great Millstone, Northern Virginia. And as you saw in the prior clip, man, the, the, the damn devil, man. You really think these people love you, Jake? You really think these people, people care about you, Jake? When all the evidence is always surfacing, showing that they don't give a damn about you, you tribes, man. Look at the way they just spoke about uh, uh, having a damn name on a on a school, man. Robert E. Lee, man, that's Robert E. Lee schools all 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 through where I'm at, man. There's there's street names of of, of damn a uh, 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 slave masters where I'm at, man. And you but you but yet you Jakes want to hold hand in hand with these fucking cave gorillas, man. That's why you two third niggas and simpletons and nigger woman deserve what you get, man. Talking about obey your masters. That's in the slave Bible, nigga. Because Esau, you the real nigga, man. That's in that slave Bible that y'all made and compacted to control us, man. And proud pampas, man. Mm. These people are proud and pompous, man. Talking about to blame my ancestors. We are not Hamites. We're Shemites, man. Let's go to Exodus chapter 11. Let's prove that. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not, shall not a dog move his tongue. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Against man or beast that ye may know that the that Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. We ain't no Hamites, man. We Shemites, man. Just because uh, 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 Ham Hamites have dark, dark flesh like we do does not make us the same people. Esau. So you, so you, so this, so this Edomite said that that uh, Yahweh Shai never condemned slavery, and that he told that that he told in the slave by in the slave Bible that, that they made that we should obey our masters. So let's 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 get some scriptures, man. Let's get some scriptures, man. Let's see. Let's see if you're gonna stand firm on your words once I bring these scriptures out. All right, this is Ecclesiastes. Salakia, I'm excited. Salakia, this is Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man, and and selleth him, or if he be found in his hands, he shall surely be put to death. Did you not read this, Esau? And he that stilleth a man, and selleth him. Or if he be found in his hands, he shall surely be put to death. Did you did you overskip this scripture? Did you? Man, you devils got a lot to pay for, man. We ain't gonna have no mercy on you devils, man. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3. Because I guess you over I guess you overlooked this too, you damn devil. You devils, so like you damn devils. I guess y'all overlooked this. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive 
for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons. Just like you don't have no respect for us, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai ain't going to have respect, no respect for you devils, man. You cave gorillas, man. And I guess you also overlooked this. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 34. I guess you overlooked this too when you was reading the Bible. You, you Christian man, as y'all call yourselves. I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm your brother in Christ. I guess you overlooked this, huh? Exodus chapter 34, verse 7. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgressions and sin, and that will by no means, and that will by no means clear the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generation. So what does that mean, Esau, since you're such a Bible scholar? What does that mean? Let's let the scriptures talk. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I guess you ain't read that, huh, my nigga? Let's go to Galatians, because y'all mock the Most High. Y'all mock the Heavenly Father, the Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Y'all mock him. Well, guess what? Be not deceived. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So you reap what you sow. All your criminal acts and everything that you've done to us, man. <laughs> boy, oh boy. You, you got a big tab to pay, Esau. And you're going to pay it. So you said, you said, uh, obey your masters and, uh, and, and, uh, Yahweh Shai never condemned slavery. Okay. Let's go to Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah chapter 30. And let's read verse 16. And it reads this. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries Every one of them shall go into captivity. So get ready for slavery, boy. Get ready to get your back whipped, boy. What's your name, boy? What's your name? Christopher. No, what's your name, boy? Esau, that's your name. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So guess what? You about you about to become a, a, a statistic. You about to be in captivity. You about to be on your knees asking us for a, for a, a glass of water. Tell us, master, I'm tired. Shut up and get back to work, boy. Get back to work, Toby. Don't you back talk me, boy. Dig those holes and put those dead bodies in those holes. Hurry up, boy. You ain't going to get no mercy, you damn heathens. Let's go to Revelation. No mercy, man. Revelation chapter 13. And let's start off at verse 9 and it reads this. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. So you're going into slavery, Esau. Ain't no way around it, man. Ain't no way around it, man. You're going into captivity. You're going to be our servants in the kingdom of heaven. And then after that, you're going to be extinct off the earth. You're going to be terminated off the earth forever. Yes, forever, yes, forever, ever, and forever, ever. No more cave gorillas. No more, no more thin-lipped red beasts upon the earth. Now, let's close it out here. I got a beautiful close out for you damn heathens, man, especially you Edomites, man. Let's go back to Jeremiah 30. Man, because I, when I saw this video, man, it automatically pissed me off, man. Automatically, man. But, you know, what, what can you expect, man? We're dealing with the damn devil. Nothing should nothing should, should surprise us. Nothing should surprise us at this point, man. Being in this truth. 
Salakia. We're going to read the rest of this. Damn heathens, man. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 30, starting off at verse 17, and it reads this. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Behold, I will, I will, I will, Bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents and have mercy on his dwelling places and the city shall be builded up upon her heap and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime and their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish and I will punish all that oppress them and their nobles shall be of themselves and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them and I will cause him to draw near and he shall approach unto me for who is this? that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith Yahweh, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. Behold, the whirlwind of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, go forth with fury. A continuing whirlwind, it shall fall with pain upon the wicked. Salakia, it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall not return until he have done it and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. And we're in the latter days right now. So prepare, prepare to be judged and prepare to go into slavery, man. Prepare to go to, into captivity. You read gorillas, okay? You want you want to talk lofty concerning oppression? Well, guess what? Your your your, uh, your oppression, your slavery, your captivity, and your destruction is at nine, man. So just wait, just wait, cause it's about to happen, man. And we ain't gonna have no mercy on you, silverback gorillas, man. None whatsoever, man. Okay, okay, boy, get ready for captivity. So I don't want to rot this out. This was edifying. I pray this is edifying. So with that, I'm gonna say, shalom.